video, I'm going to be talking to you about the Starling Bank. If you're somebody who uses a cash envelope system, any form of sinking funds, or just somebody that wants to save money, you're going to want to keep watching this video. I'm going to show you how I went from being somebody who's got almost £7,000 worth of debt to being out of debt and having over £10,000 saved within seven months. Hello and welcome, or welcome back. My name is Sarah. I create videos on minimal living, my personal finances, and I want to motivate and encourage others going through their own debt-free journey. It is a digital bank that operates solely on a mobile device. I have to admit, I find it very hard to get my head around the fact that it's an app and I'm putting my money into an app. But I have to tell you, from the minute I signed up with Starling Bank until this very second, I am must be the one, number one cheerleader. And the amount of people that I know that I've got onto Starling Bank and they've never looked back, they've saved so much money doing so. Quick disclaimer, I am not affiliated with this company. I am just a very happy customer. I came across a Starling app just before I went to South Africa to get married. I needed a system to take money abroad and avoid overseas charges, which is what we normally accumulate when we go away. And we didn't want to take too much cash. We we're getting married, so we did need quite a bit of money. But I did a lot of research beforehand. I read a lot of reviews, none of which had anything negative to say. I also had a recommendation from my younger sister who already uses this app. So the application process for this was so slick. It was so slick. From the minute I signed up, um, again, I was very nervous doing so, so the minute I signed up and I thought, every, every button I clicked, I thought I'll play it by ear and see how I feel. Play it by ear and see how I feel. If I felt nervous in any way or had any doubts throughout the process, I'll just pull out. I didn't, I didn't feel like that once. I had, it was such a slick, professional process. You need to do a verification video so the app can recognise you, which again seems so professional. The whole application process took less than five minutes. Now, imagine what it is like going to a bank normally. A boring process is how dragged out it is. Um, so yeah, I was very impressed with this. So the card arrived in two, maybe three days. I was so impressed by the presentation of the delivery. Um, it came in a really neat quality envelope, very simplistic, and the branding is just spot on. So that's the colour of the card, absolutely beautiful. It's been voted the best British bank of 2018, 2019 and 2020. Overdrafts are available. Personal loans are available, although obviously I don't recommend them. You can do international money transfers. Interest is earned. You can earn interest over the entire balance. Um, it is low. It's currently at 0.05%. You've got £300 daily limit on withdrawals. There's 800,000 customers. There's no impact on your credit score. So the card is a MasterCard and it works like any other bank card. You've got your long, you've got your long number, I'm not going to show you obviously. You've got your long number, sort code, account number. Um, it is contactless, so just use it like any other card. So it's just like any other bank, essentially, except for the goals section. So if you do sinking funds and if you do a cash envelope system, you're going to get so excited about what I'm going to show you. Clearly, 800,000 people already have this app, so I'm probably teaching people to suck eggs here, um, but I didn't know about it, and the people that I've spoken to haven't known about it, and it, it has changed everything for them. So I'm going to show you how this works on my phone. Okay, so the Starling app is a little pur purple icon there. If I click on it, you have got the, the um, fingerprint option. So if you look in the top left hand corner we've got two icons, um, two little figures there that means it's the joint joint account that we're working from at the moment. Um, if I click on the big switch it shows you how my spending has been broken up. I've actually done my grocery shopping today. If we start on the top and the bottom left hand side we've got payments. So this shows you the payments that you've gone through. Um, these are payees I've got set up if you want to request money you can either do nearby or you share your account details. And then spending, we've got, it breaks down your spending just like any other bank statement if I put merchants there and you can go back on all the months as well to show your spending. So this is something I was concerned about when I first went over to this because I'm very, I like to track exactly what I'm spending all the time. I do a handwritten expense, expense tracker every month but this is helpful just to look back on to make sure I haven't missed anything. If we look in the top right hand corner, um, it's got all your information there, um, you've got your joint account details, account information, personal details, statements, 
um, so you can go back to all your statements, which is quite handy. Now, for the most exciting part about this whole app is the spaces section in the bottom right hand corner. So just like normal sinking funds, it's the same thing. You've got your little envelopes, here's mine. Every month, this is what I get so excited for every time I get paid, is for this little section in the bottom right hand corner. So if I click on that, you'll see. I'm not expecting a baby. I don't have any children. This is just for my future goals, just like sinking funds. So we've got baby, I've got car maintenance, dentist, fun money, groceries. I'll discuss that with you in a minute. Holiday fund, house maintenance, household products, new TV, rabbit, redecorate the house, my shark hoover, which I cannot wait to buy, supplements, toiletries, wedding gift money, which we've received at our wedding, and wedding photo book. I don't need a hoover at the moment, but I know that the next hoover I'm going to purchase is a shark hoover. I've got my eyes on one, I can't wait to buy it, but I've only got £15. Every month, once I've done my budget, I've got a set amount of money or whatever's left over will then go into my styling bag. It's like having a money box. I'm sticking those pennies in that money box every month. If we do holiday. So we haven't got any holidays booked, but I know that one day we're going to need to go on holidays. So I've got £400 in at the moment. If you can see the target amount over there, it's £1,000. Once I hit that goal, I'm probably going to increase that if we don't spend it by then. Um, so if I wanted to withdraw this money now, I would go tap withdraw. If I need to put a deposit of say £150 down, I'd put in 150 and I'd withdraw that. That money is now put in to my balance. So with that balance, I can either use it on my card, so I can just go and use it off my card as it is, or I can do a transfer. So the, the money under home, the money under this page now is the money that I can use. If my money is in my savings goals, I can't touch it, it's not usable. It's, it separates my goals from accessible money, which is the perfect way to save. It stops you from using money that's meant for other things. So I'm gonna go back into holiday fund, add money. It's got on the left hand side there what my balance is, so I've got 150 pounds to play with. I'm gonna put that back into my holiday fund. So it's so easy and simple and straightforward. I'm gonna show you how you set up a goal new spaces, saving space, what am I saving for? So if I just make something up now, if I do say garden, garden supplies or garden maintenance, okay, so garden, create goal. So this is just the basic template for the, the goal. I can manage that and set a target. So say I want to have 500 pound in there for any garden maintenance. Um, there you go success and now that is in my sinking funds. It is amazing. I don't know exactly how many goals you can have. Um, I've just gone mad and I've put loads in so I'm not really sure how many you can have. So if we go to my access account, my own personal, don't keep money in the main account. I always put it straight into goals. When that money has got a purpose, you don't touch it. You will not touch it if it's got a purpose. Amy, Amy's wedding that you can see there, Amy's not even engaged. Amy's got a boyfriend, but she's not engaged. Amy's going to get married one day. So in my head, I know I'm going to have to put money aside for that because one day she will get married and I'd like to be able to help towards it or I'd like to be able to celebrate with her when it comes to hen do's or, or just generally. Bex hen, I'm a bridesmaid for one of my friends and that's, really, that's going to be coming up in April. So I've got that account. Uh, Kefili Dog Walks, I've recently started my own business, which is a um, topic for another video. Um, car tax, I've just paid my tax, so that's gone right down. Christmas fund, clothing, education and new opportunities. Fuel, again I'll talk to you that along with the groceries in a minute. Gifts, holiday with my sisters, I like to go away with them. Um, Kathleen's wedding, my other sister is engaged. My hair and beauty, not a lot in there. Um, new car. I don't need a new car, but one day I will. I don't want to be stuck in a predicament where I need to go and get a loan or get a car and finance. So I've started a sinking fund for my car. Pregnancy. I'm again, I'm not pregnant, um, but I know I will be pregnant one day and I'd like to have money for my maternity clothes and have money to go for coffees when I'm on maternity leave and not worry about bills um, at that time. Spending fun money, nothing in there. Um, Steph's hen, I'm a bridesmaid for another friend. 
And finally, work boots. So once that is full, even if I don't need that at the moment, if I don't need to spend that money, it's nice to know that that money's there. It's put aside and it's waiting for when it is needed. For example, the Shark Hoover. I don't need it at the moment. I'm not going to buy one until my other one is broken. So it's just a really good way to, to have that money aside, guilt-free spending. So once I've got that pot full, I know that the money's there, so I don't need to worry about it. I'm just going to go over to fuel, and I'm going to discuss what I've done with that. So every month, in my budget, I set a, a certain amount aside for fuel and groceries. My fuel is £50 a month. I stick it into my sinking fund um, because I, I needed to separate that from my main access account, and I always put £50 in. I don't always spend £50. If, for example, I only spend, say, £29 um, on fuel that month, then that will roll over to the next month. I don't just fill it up to 50 I put another £50 in. It does come a time when I do need to fill my car up twice a month, and at least that money's there. It's in the part and ready and waiting. I do exactly the same for groceries. I put my budget amount in there, and every the three times that I go shopping each month, I'm, only, I'm going to divide it by three, and that's how much I put. I take out. So I'm going to, if, when I go shopping today, I withdrew £100. And then when I'm finished at the shops, when I'm done for the day and I've got all the groceries I need, I'm going to go back to my goals and I'm going to add the money back in. So today, I, I think I put back in, how much is it, 23 I put like £13 back in because I didn't use all of it, which is great because it's going to build up and build up. If I haven't convinced you that this is the best thing in the world and it's going to completely change your life, do me a favour, hit the subscribe button because I will be showing you how I do my sinking funds um, and I'll be working it from this app. At the end of the month, when it does come time to set up my budget, I will be showing you my sinking funds. If you've enjoyed any aspect of this video, please hit the thumbs up and I will see you next time.